All right, guys, we're back today. We're going to be sewing up our strap for right now. Um, because of this sewing, I'm doing it by hand with a needle and thread. It's going to take me a minute. So I'm just going to show you guys the highlights, what stitch I'm using, and then just snippets of me doing this because it gets tedious and repetitive after a little while. Um, first things first, last time you guys saw this strap, it was nine inches wide. It is still nine inches wide. It is just folded over. You'll see I have some marks here on the inside for how wide I actually do want it. And I'm taking my best cut edge. Do you mind, Todd? I need that there. Thank you. Okay. And then I'm just taking my best cut edge and putting it up. Ultimately, this will end up down so nobody sees it. Um, I've threaded my needle. You may thread it however you wish. I'm using a double thread and then I just tie the two ends together with a little overhand knot, which has now become tangled because of how long it is. But we're going to start with a straight line stitch. Okay. And all that means is we're going to start our needle through all three layers. And we're going to immediately come back up. I like to come back up behind it. And then we're going to take this, the needle, and put it between the two strands of thread. Sorry, you guys can't see that. Todd. Don't you be taking my stuff. Okay, and now we're going to pull all that through. And lock it down. Okay. Now our thread is locked in. We're going to take all that away from the tot. Because she doesn't need to play with the level. Alright. So now that our first stitch is locked in. We're just going to take and run a straight line. And you can do this by scoring a line on here. Which I'll probably do in a minute. Or you can just freehand it, like I'm doing now, if you're confident and cocky. But you want to go in as straight a line as possible, and when you get so that you can't get any more on the needle, you're going to push it through and just pull. Pull as much through as you can, and what you end up with is something that looks kind of like that. And you'll notice I'm not a tailor, seamstress, whatever you want to call me. I don't sew for a living, so this is going to be crude and it's going to look a little crazy. So, enjoy watching all this sewing happen that I don't do normally. Do you mind? Dada needs this. Thank you, Todd. Welcome to Sewing the Movie. Thank you. Dead that dumb? What the heck is this? Why did when did Dad turn dumb? Oh 
Well, I don't like it. Oh, here's your belly. Oh, there's your belly. Really, it's not that bad. <laughs> Are you trying to whistle? You're sure about all that? Are you showing everybody your belly? Why are you showing everybody your belly? You got a big belly, huh? Are you getting ready to grow on me again? Oh yeah? Don't threaten me with you growing up. You guys can't see her right now. But the tot is standing over here playing with the stuff that I have on the table. And every once in a while she pulls up her shirt and rubs her belly. Like she's Buddha or something. And who knows? She might be the Buddha. We don't know. Wouldn't that be something? Oh, she's getting down now. Are you leaving us? You say bye bye? Say bye bye. Ow. Needle prick number two. Can we get a needle prick count in chat? <laughs> or in the comments? How many times am I going to stab myself with this needle? Ow. Don't walk into the table. That hurts. So, a needle pulling thread, quite literally. Oh, we're losing our seam. Alright guys, as you can see, I'm getting close to being done with this edge. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go around the end here, and I'm going to come back up this edge, 
and I will rejoin you guys when I get back to where I started. So I'm gonna put on some music and keep sewing. So enjoy. All right, guys. Like I said, I'm back. It's completely sewed up. It's not pretty, but it's a heck of a lot prettier than the other one. Oh, I know. It's not that ugly. It's not that ugly. She's upset because she gets the ugly one. But as you can see, I have these nice finished off. These are going to be down to about here, sewn onto the bag in the back. So the only person that's going to see it is me. Um, if you want, you can embroider whatever you want on here. I will probably be embroidering some later. Um, but now I have this nice strong strap. It's not falling apart. And I can... And it's stitched all the way down. And now we'll move on to the back. Alright guys, just to show you how I do this, I thread my needle and then I run both strands all the way back down to the end. So I have both of them right here. I don't know how well you guys can see that. But they're both there. There, now you can see it. Both ends right there. And I'm just going to tie these together in a little knot. Okay. Now I've got my little knot right there. Okay. And now we're going to do that same stitch we were doing all the way down this side. And as you can see, I ran out of brown thread. So... We're going to do this with gray thread now. I'm going to start in this corner and I'm going to go up this side where these clips are. And like I said, I start by coming through and going back through right around the same spot. And then I pull, I thread back a little bit and split the uprights. One thread on either side of the needle, ahead of the knot. Oh, come on. There it is. Just like that. To lock in that first stitch. And if it looks a little funky, that's okay. It's all going to end up on the inside of the bag anyway. And now I go up and pull all that out, get this clip out of the way. Now we just keep going up and down through both layers of canvas. I am really interested to see how you guys are going. Um, so go ahead, make sure you are leaving comments down below, showing some pictures of what yours looks like. Um, I'd really like to see those. I'd like to see what you guys come up with design-wise that's different than mine. Like I said, this is my second one I've made ever. I've had a couple, but just make sure you're getting both edges of the fabric and you're staying in a relatively straight line. If you're OCD, like I know some people are, and you have to draw a line to keep your stitches straight, do it. Nobody's stopping you. There. Nobody's stopping you. This is your bag. It's going to look and work for you. And we just keep going back and forth through both layers of fabric, keeping the edges as even as we can. And we pull all that through. Take a look at what we got so far. So far it looks decent. 
I'm just gonna come back up a little bit. Okay. And this part right here is probably the most tedious part of this whole thing. Remember that extra inch we added when we cut it out? That's what this is for. All right. Now my last clip on this side. Goodbye, clip. There we go. Now, because these are the edges of the bag, I like to double up on it and go immediately back the opposite direction. So I just go between stitches and come back along that same edge again just to give it a little extra oomph to keep it together. Because I am not kind to my gear. I beat the tar out of it. And if I recommend something to people, it's usually something I have, have used. Um, I don't like to speak poorly of a product, so I just won't talk about it. And I won't bring it up. Unless it actually hurt me. So, this needle sucks because it keeps stabbing me. So, there. Alright. I keep going out of frame, guys. Sorry. So, not a bad way to spend a snowy afternoon in the house. Making a little bag to carry your food around in when you're out in the bush. Dreaming about what you're going to do this summer. This spring. Now, there's our edge. Now when we turn this inside out and fold over our flap, we'll be able to uh, sew the flap up and call it a day. I'm gonna run down, I'm gonna run down this bottom edge here with the bottom of the bag. I'm gonna get that stitched up. And then I'll be back with you guys to show you the fo fold on the flap and how to stitch that. We're gonna do the same thing again. So, I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, guys, we are back. All the edges here are seamed up. The only thing left to do is fold the flap over and give it some weight, but I'm gonna turn it inside out first to make sure that the stitch goes the right way this time. So, I'm just gonna come in and grab my corners and turn it inside out. And Check out my handiwork, make sure there's no holes anywhere where I missed stitching. No, nope, it looks good. This is what the outside of your bag will look like. And just kind of check your stitching. I got a couple things I need to fix on it. But I'll go in, I'll open it back up and take care of that real quick. All right. Now, to fold our flap, I need to make sure everything's all centered and lined up flat I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna fold it down so that it meets the top of the bag itself okay. and then I'm going to crease the top and now I'll just run a stitch all the way around here and that gives the top flap some weight so that it stays down while I'm on the move. After that, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna stitch 
my strap on both ends and then I have my haversack and then the rest of it's just make it pretty which you guys are along for the ride because I want to make this pretty all right so let me fix a couple of things and stitch that up and I'll be right back with you all right gang we're back we have it all stitched up we have our bag here we have our top flap and we have our strap to sew on so but that is about all my fingers are going to take today of being poked and prodded by this stupid needle so until next time guys remember use those links down in the description like comment subscribe let me know how yours are going let me see how many times you've been pricked by your needle so have a good one